Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for another squad builder showdown. And today, for your faces, we've got a beautiful looking team of the year icon, Nemanja Vidic. One of my heroes growing up, obviously the partnership that him and Rio Ferdinand had was uh, just absolutely beautiful to watch. And uh, unfortunately, we had uh, Harry Maguire in uh, trying to replicate those two as of late. And uh, now I'm thankful that we've got Verana Martinez. Thank you. But we are doing this lovely Nemanja Vidic team of the year icon. I've been wanting to do a video on this card for a long while. Andy came along and was like, you know what, Cubs? I'm going to try and discard your Nemanja Vidic in today's episode. But uh, Andy, I hope you're well, mate. But you won't be discarding my team of the year uh, icon Nemanja Vidic today, mate. Oh, okay. Coming in with the smoke, my friend. But one thing I did want to ask you was... Probably this was a, a time when I was growing up watching United. was my first proper centre-back pairing, should we say, Vidic and Ferdinand. Like Stubbs and Weir. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Do you have a fond memory of a centre-back? Like, Vidic, I would say, is probably like, probably one of my favourite centre-backs whilst growing up. Yeah. Do you have a centre-back where you think to yourself, oh, he was absolutely legend whilst yeah. I was growing up? Well, Nemanja Vidic is, of course, known as the Serbian Jagielka. So I would have to say Jagielka. For goodness sake, why? What? Why? <laughs> I thought this was going to be a joke for off the video, not on the video. Phil Jagielka. What a man. There's also I'm Funes a... Mori because he was a meme in FIFA in Squad of the Show now. Goodness sake. Alan Stubbs, met him in JJB once. Nice guy. Oh, JJB, what a store, mate. I don't, they, they, they're not, not sort of kicking about anymore, are they? No, they got shut down years ago. Who yeah. else is there? It's got to be some more centre-backs where he's like, oh, he was an absolute warrior. Man that played for the badge, truly. Johnny Heitinger, he was a psycho. He was an absolute nut job, wasn't he, mate? He, like, he did not care for anything when going into challenges, really, did he? Same as Vidic, in a way, but... When did I... My prime of going to the Everton matches was when I was, like, 8 till I was 18. So then, yeah. if we go for when I was 14, so I go for 2007, that's who the Everton centre-back was. Everton 2007 was... Oh, we well, finished that fifth. Like... What a year. <sighs> Oh, how year. times have changed. Joseph Yobo and oh, Julian wow. Lescott. Oh, Julian Lescott was mad. Julian Lescott he got double well, figures yeah. goals once playing centre back. That was outrageous. Really? That's I'm pretty mental. sure. Yeah, I think he should score like eleven goals in a season from centre back. That's actually mad. What? I think I might have. I mean, someone's going to tell me I've completely made that up. But I swear. <laughs> yeah. used to, oh, and Sorry, Andy. Well. No. Yeah, I think um, from what I remember Kale. of Everton. I mean, yeah. He used to score loads of headers. He was absolutely unbelievable player as well, wasn't he? Really. But I think I rem your centre-back pairings, I always remember it being Sylvan Distan and Jaggy Elka, I think, off the top of my head. I do sure, remember Johnny Heitinger Sylvan as well. Distan was so good. Yeah. I, re I always remember it being really, really good. You've always been sort of a bogey team for United as well. Especially at Goodison. I hate you, though. Every time we go to Goodison, I'm like, oh. No. The amount of times I went to have a match and we'd be doing dead good against you and then stupid rude Van Nistelrooy would score on last minute. I swear <laughs> once we were winning 2-1. And you beat us 3-2, and Van Nistelrooy scored twice in the 90th minute. Oh, wow. I hate United. I'm having a look at other Everton centre-backs. All right, Everton centre-backs, 2004. 2000, we finished fourth in 2004. I'm picking good years. Hey, Champions League. Wow. We didn't get the Champions League. We have to qualify in rounds and got scammed by Pierluigi oh. Colina. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was absolutely was not outrageous, that actually. That was. That, that he actually unretired crazy. to referee that one game and scammed us. It was really bad. Of course it is. We also <laughs> almost got scammed out of being in it because Liverpool won the Champions League the year before, but we finished ahead of them. And they were like, oh, but you've got to have oh. the, the holder in it. They've got to defend their title. So they had to make up an yeah. extra place for them instead of kicking us out because that would have been outrageous. Because that, that's that's not something that happens in nowadays as well, is it? Because it used to be a thing that if they won the Europa League, if whoever won the Europa League would get the spot over fourth place if an English club won it. Yeah. I remember that being a thing because if we won the Europa League that year, which... We didn't. We bottled it. Um, nice. I think it would it would have been Tottenham that got kicked. Or Tottenham or Arsenal, one of the two, that got kicked out of the Champions League because of it, and they would move down to the Europa League. That's kind of scandalous, isn't it? Mm, I don't think that can happen anymore. I think there's just an extra place for them, I believe. But either there's way... Like 4,000 teams in the Champions League this year. But yeah, it's a stupid amount. They're, they're trying to do the same to the World Cup as well, aren't they? Where They're trying to have... Like 46 teams in the World Cup instead of 32. God knows. But either way, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Nemanja Vidic was a man that was absolutely just heroic when I was growing up. I thought he was an absolute monster. Play for the badge or his heart on his sleeve. What an absolute bloke. Let me know down in the comments section. One who you support and uh, a centre-back sort of, not hero, but who did you very much enjoy watching at centre-half when you were younger? I would very much be interested to know. Andy, 
Hello. I would also like to know what formation you would like as well, mate. So right. if you could tell me and if it'd be this one that's on my whiteboard, that'd be great, mate. I've got a team in mind, so I'm just checking my phone because I took a picture of it. Okay. 4312, please, Kebs. Don't say you've guessed it, because I spent ages designing this team, Kebs. That's a mm. eerie silence. Well then. Hmm. Ah, well, Andy, Andy, Andy. So this is where I have the option, don't I? Because I have guessed your formation. No. <laughs> Do I be nice and let you have it and then let me have a second trump card? And you know what? I'm feeling like after, after the start that I've had, I'm feeling quite lucky. So, you know, what? I'm going to let you have your formation. Mm. And I'm going to take the option for a second trump card. I seen a stat once, if this makes you feel smarter about your pick. When I have to use a trump card, my win rate is absolutely appalling. So my win rate is 78% if wow. I give you a trump, but I don't have one. Yeah. And then when it's because flipped. I always use my trump card straight away as soon as I get a position just to make sure I use it. Whereas that when I sense. have to have a trump card, my win rate's only 30%. So imagine if I had two. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's true. Oh, I wonder, has SBS data come up with like a... No one ever really picks it, you know. And in the odd times that people do pick mm. it, it's only like a 50-50 that they get to use it twice. Very true. I guess it's how confident they are at guessing your teams. And normally, actually, I, I, I normally get probably one, maybe two. I think I've had two on a, a few occasions this year so far. So oh, if wait. we could carry that on today and then give you two trump cards, that would be pretty, pretty dope. I am going to guess yours, Kerbs. I mean, you could try, but... <laughs> Don't think you're going to, mate, because I would like the four, three, two, one, please. <laughs> oh no, you haven't. <laughs> There's no way that you guessed it as well. No, <laughs> surely not. I feel somewhat peer pressured into giving you an extra trump card now. To be honest with you. <laughs> Go on, give me the spiel, Kebs. Oh, Andy, please. I've designed a team. I know what I want. Kebs is so annoying this year. <laughs> please, sir, don't take my formation. As we were just doing accents before the video started. Please, Andy, I require some compensation. Don't take my formation. That was my Joe Pasquale. <laughs> oh, okay. Which I don't think was too bad, actually, but uh, we move. I can't believe you actually guessed it, man. For I God's had, I feel, sake. I feel morally obliged to let you have it, to be honest with you. I feel like I'd be a terrible person if you let me have mine and I didn't take yeah. the same gamble against you. Uh, spice it up, Kebs. I'll oh, have a mate. second trump card as well. Oh, very, very nice. Thanks, mate. Oh, I thought you were really going to do like an Atani and snake me there and just take my formation. Yeah, you can have three mate. No, I'll, I'll have exactly. a Exactly. Lovely. Okay. Well, very, very interesting indeed. And also, ladies and gentlemen, what we're doing today is we're doing Squad Builder Showdown in reverse. So, um, myself and Andy both have a goalkeeper and a centre-back. And also two trump cards. Could get very tasty. Let's get into the first picks. Here we are then, into the goalkeeper and the centre-back. Andy, I think I'm going to go first on this one, mate, if that's all right. Go on, then. In goal, I would like a, uh, a man who was... Quite good at saving penalties, unfortunately, for England. Um, so we're going to head over to the league gun, and we're going to go for Gianluigi Donnarumma. Mm -hmm. And a centre-back, I'm pretty sure you know what's coming. I would love to have a flashback player, Sergio Ramos. Um, next to him as well, please. I've broken the first rule of Squabble the Showdown Caves, which is when in doubt, write Donnarumma. That sounds good for me, actually. I wrote Milinkovic Savic. Clever. I like it. I like and it. I put Ferdinand because I thought he might bring them back. <laughs> bring back the partnership. I yeah. was very tempted to do that actually, but on this occasion, I did not. Okay. Okay. For me. I myself, Mr. Cable, would like mm -hmm. a Red Foot Champs player pick. I know. Touch grass, Andy. Delict. That's a that's a nice one to get. That's actually. quite a good one actually. Is 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 it his, is it his latest one or is it eighty eight? Yeah. From last. Oh, Foot it's his latest one. Nice. Mm. Very nice. Yeah. Good card, mate. Good card. I mean, it is February. Red picks aren't usually very good and very likely to get into your team. True. But that's actually quite a good one. And I'll have Manuel Neuer, please, Kebs. Who, ah, my Twitch okay. chat. Don't say ah. No, no, no. I, I haven't guessed it. I was okay. just like, ah. My, tweet, my chat was like, that's bait. I was like, what do you mean? It's bait. You've got an icon. <laughs> oh, that's what they were on about. any player in the whole <laughs> game. In what world is Manuel Neuer bait? It could be anything. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. Like, just, not, just because he's like... The... I guess he's good, but... Is he the highest rate goalkeeper? That's normal card. Just double check real quick. But yeah, Cole oh, is 90. Yeah. Oh, he is 90. Oh, so yeah, okay. I mean, yeah, I guess that. 
They have it's half a, a point. A point, but it is an icon, and he's doing everything. Yeah. Higher. But it did my just bait. Yeah, that's very bait. That, that's the only one that I would have said would have been bait, really, there, because there's not really any fantastic Serb centre back. So, luckily for you, I thought you might have gone down a really like sneaky, perfect link route. So I wrote down Mendy and Kula Bali. Oh, clever. Okay, nice. So, but no, you can keep your Neuer and Delict, and Lovely. um, let's move on to the fullbacks. Into the fullbacks we go, then, Andy. What would you like? Well, I've gone for a Bayern theme in my first two picks. You have, mate. Very and much so. This time, I'm going for a Dortmund theme. It's as hmm. if there's only two teams in the Bundesliga. Oh, well, yeah. Throw in a bit of RB Leipzig, mate. Really, isn't it? To be honest with you. But Union Berlin, Berlin, mate. who I get slandered for still not knowing how to pronounce his name. Someone told me it's like a wrestler. But I can't remember the wrestler's name either, so that's not helpful. Don't watch wrestling, mate. So me that's neither. gone straight over my head. Me neither. And on the right, that, of course, means Mounier. <laughs> It does. Well, I did write down two Bundesliga fullbacks, but they weren't Borussia Dortmund, unfortunately, for me. I thought you'd try and get a bit more chemistry on the go, so I wrote down Gunter. Okay. And Frimpong. Yeah, Frimpong's far too bait. He is, but he's he's one of those that could be far too bait to write him down as well. Mm, I see what you're saying. So yeah, you're trying to sneak it in. Yep. Yeah, Smart. but... My chat's tell me Eddie Guo. So this is the problem. I don't know how to pronounce his name. Eddie Guerrero. Like Guerrero. So this is the yeah. Eddie Guerrero. Guerre but this guy's got more letters. Okay, Ed Guerrero. I'll have him, please, Kevs. Lovely. Guerrero, Guerrero. Guerrero, Guerrero. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can have them both, mate. No, I, I didn't English people. <laughs> nice. Myself, though, my friend. Uh, I would like a man that is a German. In the Serie A. Interesting. And that man goes by the name of Robin Gossens. You are getting jazzy, Kebs. Ah, oh, you know me, mate. I like to build some jazzy squads. And I was going to make an extinct joke. Um, but instead, I'm going to go for a man that is a right wing back by default. You're going Trent Alexander-Arnold? No, I'm going to go for his Inter Milan teammate, Denzel just... Dumfries, mate. I'm just kidding because he's actually extinct rather than Dodo, who is exactly, also extinct. Mate. Yeah. Um, and I'm pretty sure you did make a joke like that in one of our previous episodes, yep, but it, it went over my head. Yeah, that was one of the comments. That's the fifth time Andy's made a Dodo joke and still nobody's oh, really? got it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Someone came into my Twitch chat and said, can you please start to get Andy's jokes? I think he's getting a bit upset. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. The Trent reference is apparently for Centurions... Trent Alexander Arnold is apparently now extinct at max price, which is kind of wild. Oh, it's, wow. it's mad, isn't it? How, like, I, I have no idea. Cards yeah. Just go up in price loads. So, mm. World Cup hero, Captavia, is so expensive now as well. True. Well, he's absolutely insane, though, so it makes sense. Yeah, so is but... Trent, to be fair. He's like the best right back on the game. Oh, really? Is he actually that good? Yeah, he's actually that good. Yeah. Oh, wow. So then, he apparently is extinct too. He is, yeah. That's wild, isn't Fair it? Play? Oh, yeah, that is crazy. I, I, I would never have expected a card like that to be... Yeah. If only I could predict this and invest in them, I'd make so many coins, whereas actually I just buy them and discard them for scholarship now. True. Or you invest a million coins into GD Wine Aldum to make them go to... How many coins was it? Thanks, mate. <laughs> so, um, I mean, actually, you know, you know what? You've been kind to me. Actually, wait, no. I've also been kind to you. Yeah. I didn't take your formation either. I'm half tempted, so... you know, to join one of them trade and Patreons. <laughs> yeah, not honestly. Even, not, honestly, not even joking. My, really my just... only hesitation with it is I do all of my FIFA on my stream. And then I don't oh, know if the people who own the Patreon would, would, like, get annoyed with me doing it. Yeah. True. But then maybe be some... advertising their Patreon for them. I, I don't really know. Yeah, I did once get absolutely slandered, like multiple days of abuse on Twitter from people who oh, wow. run trade and Patreons mm. for just making a stupid joke. I bought somebody for 400k, let's say. I forgot about yeah. them for three months and then found them in my club when, like three months later when they were 50k. And I was like, please subscribe to my trade and Patreon and tweeted the picture of it. <laughs> and they all took it so serious and I had like days of abuse. It was so weird, but I do actually kind of want to sign up to one of them now. Yeah, to be fair, honestly, we lose so many coins, whether it be to discards, to 
tax when buying these players and stuff like that. I feel like it'd be something that's actually that would be quite useful for. Yeah. If I could just go on at uh, 6 p.m. and just them, um, because they always tweet out, oh, we told everyone to invest in this player and he's gone up loads. Like, if I just bought them all and then sold them a few, I'd make so many coins. And I'd make all my coins back from school to showdown. It'd be so good. Mm. And then we wouldn't have to spend as much money on 500k packs to get absolutely nothing. You can tell I'm not bitter about not packing a team of the year yet, can't you? We don't talk about that. <sighs> we don't. But what we do talk about is uh, how uh, I'm going to guess all three of Andy's midfielders. So should we jump into that, mate? Let's do it. All right, then, Andy. Into the midfield we go. A very, very important part of our teams in today's episode. Um, I think it's my turn to go first, mate. So I'm going to. I'm going to the Serie A first of all and right centre mid I'm going to go for a man that I wish would have worked at Man United but he didn't Paul Pogba his flashback card Bloody yes hell mate. you're going large I am mate I am indeed in central centre mid I'm going to the Ligon and we're going to go for a bit of Danilo Pereira and left centre mid we are going to go back to the Serie A once again and we're going to go for Latinum which I really hope Atalanta get put back on the game at some point. But is it? And all of the other game, other Isn't clubs Lazio as well. Is it Lazio? Was it quite not? right? It is Lazio. Yeah, I'm just being stupid. Atalanta or Bergamo Calcio? Bergamo Calcio. Yeah, yeah, they are. Now yeah. the one that Rebru plays for is a real team. It is. I thought it was I, a fake version of Torino, but it's not. No, it is an actual thing. It's weird how they've got some, but not all of them. I don't know. It's very strange. But my final player would be uh, Luis Alberto, please, mate. You may have them all. I put Wijnaldum because I thought you'd think you're funny. <laughs> <laughs> to, to be fair, I, I was very tempted to do it, to be fair. I put so. Maya, is that I'm going to pronounce his name? The Croatian guy to link oh, it back yeah. to Brozovic and Pasalic and stuff like that. And I put Verratti because yep. he's quite good. He is very, very good as well. Fair okay. play. I, Mr. Fair Kerbal, indeed. would like what, like what I believe is my special position change, I think. Ooh. Mario Goethe. What does this man come out of Pax as? Oh, maybe he comes out as a camp and it's not my special position change. Delightful. Mario Goethe. Mm. Tony okay. Cruz. And Fienarm Camavinga. Very nice, mate. You've switched it up. I thought you'd stay in the Bundesliga. So I wrote down Gravenberch. Nice. Goretzka. Nice. And Jude Bellingham. Lovely. So you can have all... Three. Going down to the wire, mate. Both of us have two trump cards as well. Yes. If you lose your forwards now, you are having multiple <laughs> goalkeepers up front. Oh, dear. Well, uh, you know what? I could literally just go double entendre. Say the same back to you. Mm. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. It's getting nervy. Both of us still need a bit of chem. Let's get to the forwards. Here we are, then. Probably the most important three guesses for this episode today. We're into the forwards. Andy. As I went first for the midfielders, mate, you okay. may go first here. All right. Well, I'm going to put a player in Kerbs that there is not a chance you've guessed because okay. it is the absolute snake, Dan Juma. <laughs> not only did Spurs sign our Richarlison, they then signed the player we'd signed to, si to replace Richarlison. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I'm gonna... Okay, shame you've been losing him twice, then. You did not write him down. I mean, you can carry on with your... We guess first, mate. Okay. And Let's flashback again. David Silva. Very, very nice, mate. <laughs> you didn't write Dan Juma, did you, Kebs? Come on. I didn't write Dan Juma, to be fair. I wrote down uh, Benzema Asensio. However... See that Morientes, mate? Shut up! He's such a clever one to write down because not only can he play striker, he can play cam as oh, well. Oh, he can! I didn't realise I shouldn't have done that. Yes! And I was torn between writing him or Diego Forlan down. Oh, we should have just went for... I thought that was the great one. I love Diego Forlan. Oh, and I was, I was dead certain because I, did, I wrote down Morientes. I also wrote down Benzema as well. Because, of course, he can play striker and he's got his winter wild card. He can oh, play a camp. I love Diego Forlan, Kebs. Well, at least you only got to use one trump card. <sighs> True, well actually. True. Smart. Maybe maybe if I was a bit smarter, I would have been okay. Um. Oh, when it's time to give you a goalkeeper as well. Oh, baby. Okay, right. Let's let's have a quick look, shall we? Right. Go to the 50 rated, mate. And uh, I'm going to give you a man that's uh, become famous as of late. Is it Wiles Richards? No, it's Jijibao. Jijibao. 50 rated. 
yeah, a man for being very tall and amazing speed. in gold. Hmm. Why has he become famous? Uh, just from Team Takedown, mate. Oh, okay. Um, sure. And, Cap like and, <laughs> and <laughs> Capcom Tom tweeted, tweeted James saying it as well. So <laughs> it's just now a meme, apparently. So nice. yeah, you can have him, mate. Bring him in. Okay. But I won't laugh too much too early because I've still got to get away with my forwards, mate, don't I? That is true. And I'd also have two trump cards. You do. My left centre forward, mate. I'm in the Serie A. And we're going for Franck Ribéry. Okay. He is the man that I would like. Now, striker. Um, well, basically, the, the Serie A is now done, which is quite nice. So, we're going to go to the Liga next. And we are at striker. Going to go for winter wildcards, Alexander Lacazette. And right forward, I think you might know what's coming. It's a man that won't be playing against Bayern, but he will be playing against you, Kylian Mbappe. You're picking... Mbappe? Yes. Oh, grow up, Kebs. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not going to use his team. I have his team of the year on loan. That would be disgusting. But I wouldn't do that to you because if you beat me and then made me discard it, I I, I wouldn't be able to. That Lacazette's so. actually really good as well. I that, thought I you needed to an Italian because it was Donnarumma who doesn't have Kem, wasn't it? Yes, that's why Mbappe was Oh, sneaky. and Danilo Pereira and I didn't notice. Oh, I'm stupid. So I wrote down all Italians mm -hmm. for the Donnarumma chemistry in Serie A. All three of your guesses were Italian then, so I've got my forwards. Except Ribery. Politano, Di Natale. You see that, Ribery, Kebs? Oh, I'm so sad. Bro, I thought you said I got away with it. You said you wrote down all Italians. <laughs> Ribere. Oh, Sorry. To be I guess oh. Ribere. Oh, I knew I shouldn't have laughed too early. Now it's come back to bite me. I'm oh. going to give you... Speaking of Ribera and Angry Ginge, I'll give you Carney from Sunderland. From Sunderland, you say? Oh, wow. That's like a mixture of bloody Ginge, Jack and Tom all put into one. Oh, I thought I'd got away with Ribery as well. It's going to be a spicy game, Kebs. It is, mate. Both of us had two trump cards. Only we've only used one, mate. Mm. Right. Game time. Game time. Do oh, to... look at Gigi Bao. <laughs> look at Angry Ginge. <laughs> Playing with Ribere. Instead of Ribere. Uh, but Ribere is all, he's, in the, he's in the dugout, mate. It's because Ginge lost Ribere. Okay. Fights Nemanja's for the tackled. badge that lad does. Nice. Ooh. Oh, Gigi Bao. What are you doing, lad? <laughs> nice. Oh, I'm losing so many coins already. I can feel Dens. it. Dens. Good ball. Go on, what Manuel. What have they Big done to tackle. FIFA? It feels like I'm playing on Jack 54's Wi Fi. Oh, no. Good save, <laughs> Manuel. I'm not winning. No. No. This does not feel nice. It's Why? not. It's just, not great. No, just, is playing it, mate? In, just playing in HGO, I mean. Oh, fair. <laughs> <laughs> You've had your coffee. You've got no excuses now. Oh. If I can't get you with my Div 6 tricks, what am I going to do? Oh, you dusty ball of delict. Oh, Whoa! my God. He's green the chip shot. Oh, my <laughs> God. What am I doing? Why am I doing squabble the show now with this one? Piss off, Morgan. <laughs> Come on. Oh, I felt good. Come on. Good start. Good start. That was filth. Jaggy, I could have done oh my a God. clean shot. Oh, my God. Kebs. I'm not would. conceding to Ginge. No. <laughs> Morgan! No! Get up, Manuel. Thank no! you. I'm Jesus so sad. Christ. No! Oh, oh no. I it as well with him. Oh my god, that was a shot. <laughs> Wait, it was Gigi Bow! <laughs> it was Gigi Bow! Oh my god. <laughs> I hate this game. <laughs> no, Kebs, no! Mbappe's yes. banned from Scott of the Showdown. New rule. Mbappe is banned from Scott of the Showdown. <laughs> No, so if he's on the cover of FIFA, he's not allowed in Scobbler Show. That made that's a rule, unfortunately. Oh, Mario. Yes, Mario. Fight for the World Cup. Fight for the no! badge. No! I'm not playing, Kevs. I'm not playing, mate. Oh, God, I'm dying. Oh, no. Oh, I greened it with him. You actually greened it with Gigi Bow. I greened it with him and he just kicked it straight to down. <laughs> 
Who oh, finally mate. Dan Juma in February? Why is it? Because he was meant to just feed the ball to Morientes. That's why. If I can see the goal to Angry Ginge, I'm never filming you if you're again. He's offside, ref. Ah, I'm all on. Yes. No, no, no. Morgan! No, no. Yes! He's done it! <laughs> Mate, no, I, did, I honestly, I didn't even mean to gritty with Morgan. <laughs> That's the worst finish in the world as well. It's all fine. It's absolutely abysmal for him. Oh, look how pleased he is with himself. Mate, I'm pressing wait, wait, buttons wait. and nothing's happening. Am I playing? I've passed the ball. <laughs> Oh, no, it just genuinely <laughs> sounds like I'm making this up. I cross my heart and hope to die. I am genuinely pressing buttons and it's not doing things. It sounds like it's I'm just, just crying because I'm getting bodied by your Mbappe, which va valid, I am. But also, I am pressing <laughs> buttons and nothing's happening. Oh, Have I, I even had I a got shot? It. I don't know. Oh, oh, you're right. oh got piss there. off, Fidditch. I have because my Dan Juma missed a sitter. He has. Well, oh. I'm just glad that's over. That was <laughs> oh, yeah, I was going to say, mate. I think you were fighting the game more than me. Good Lord. Oh, dear. Well, at least your pain and suffering is finished, mate. Mbappe has... I can't believe that. <laughs> Angry Ginger has got on the score sheet. My absolute king. My king getting on the score sheet. We do have three discards, though, mate. We do. Take my Goethe. Take my Danjuma. Take my David, take me everyone, just don't take my Vidic. Okay. He was absolutely magnificent in the yeah, in that game. Whereas for me mine's as well. called Vidge. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. And you were in the 4 3 1 2. Hefty yeah? doesn't leave that original joke in. I'm gonna fight him. Ah, he's, he's got to, mate. Has to. I am in 4 3 1 2. Okay. I'm hovering over it, mate. I'm trying to envisage where this Nemanja Vidic is. I've got three. The first one I'm gonna go for is. Left centre back, right striker, right back. Yes, yes, Kerbs, you little legend. Emphasis on the little. David Silver, oh. Mario Goethe. The menus aren't even working. David Silver, <laughs> Mario Goethe, and he who must not be named because I can't. Oh, where was Vidic then? Cam, oh, which was somewhat risky. Sake. Oh, it was. Because when yeah, I, I, I feel like when you pick up, when you ask what formation the other person's got, yeah, and then they tell you, you always pick the things that are unique to that formation. Hmm, that'd be an interesting one actually. You have to you have to ask everyone who does discards for that actually. Yeah. So what what? Um... So then I said four, three, one, two, and then you go, ooh, cam. So actually, putting in there was stupid, but I got away with it. Right there we are, Kebs. It's been a good one. Lovely. I'm glad I didn't lose a million coins. I just lost <laughs> my yeah. dignity. You have, mate. And uh, Angry Ginger scored. He's managed to gritty. And I'm sure he'd probably like to do that in real life as well. If you have enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out the episode over on Andy's channel. That'll already be out by the time that this one goes out. And until the next time, we will catch you guys later.